Tonight, KFDM is investigating how two city departments are costing Port Arthur money. The council approved a larger budget this year for the water and waste departments. KFDM's Jessica Crawford is live from City Hall. Jessica, why the higher budget for those departments? Well, Tiffany, the finance director says those departments borrowed from the city's general fund last year, but that's something that they hope this budget can help fix. The Port Arthur Water and Waste Departments, and I think the time seems right, are about to undergo big changes. Council okayed a $129 million budget Monday. One of the priorities, reining in those two departments. Our water and sewer fund and our uh, sanitation funds are, are really uh, not doing well. They're not paying for themselves. So those were two important things that we needed to take care of. City manager Brian McDougall says council has had to tap in to the general fund. One reason, some residents aren't paying their water bills. Uh, we're, we feel as though we're not getting about 30% of our water and sewer and sanitation revenues. So hopefully we'll get those at a very minimum. Getting more money by stepping up collection efforts. You have to remember these aren't new water lines. They've been there for a while. Jerry Dale is the interim finance director. He says fixing problems can keep dollars from flowing away. You have to repair them. So uh, the city has a contract with Siemens to go around and identify where those leaks are and, and repair them. The city is also replacing fire hydrants and water meters. Dale says old meters like this one could cost the city money with inaccurate reads. They're being replaced with newer, more reliable meters like this one. All of this with the goal of saving the city money. And can you imagine what we can do in the general fund that the city council will be able to, to do to fulfill their aspirations for this community? with another six or seven million dollars a year. Grants and the Chenier project could also bring more money to the Port Arthur economy. Live in Port Arthur, I'm Jessica Crawford, 6 News Tonight. Thank you, Jessica.